All right, next in your notes, you have something that is titled joining the center of the earth. And there are two factors that increase as you journey through the earth. Now, when you look at this picture here, this obviously is the outer portion of the earth. And then you go deeper and deeper and deeper into the center of the earth. So that's why this picture looks like this. But we're going to take a look at just a short video. And from that video, you should be able to tell me the two factors that increase as you join through the center of the earth. due to the weight of all the water on top of you. The same thing happens in Earth's mantle. At this point in the upper mantle, there's 300 kilometers of rock bearing down on top. The pressure is extremely high, high enough for diamonds to form. As you move closer to the core, temperature increases. Most things expand when they melt, solids become liquid. But it's doubtful there are liquid diamonds deep inside Earth because the pressure increases too, keeping things from melting. That's why, although no one has ever seen it, scientists think the core is solid. So what are the two things that increase as we join to the center of the earth? What would number one be? Upper mantle. No. As you go deeper into the center of earth, what's going to rise? Okay, but where is that number one or is that number two? That's number two. Two is pressure because it says the force pushing the surface. So pressure does increase. Meaning if you join to the center, that means it's going to feel like your head is squeezing in. As you can see, those diamonds were being pressed. What else increases? Um, the heat. The heat, which is the temperature. temperature. It gets hotter as you get to the center. <laughs> Are we good? Yes? All right, looking at your next portion is titled Earth's Layers. When you look at your notes, we're gonna start from number three and take it to two and take it to one. So we're gonna start from the very, very center of the Earth and journey our way out. All right, any questions? Questions? All right, in doing that, what I, what I need you to do, at each station there are paper towels. One per, the person closest to the paper towels, go ahead and grab one for every person. Tavarsi, do not touch anything. I said paper towels. Make sure everyone gets one. While we're doing that, looking at number three, two, and then one, the center of the earth, what do you think that's called? It's called the core. We're just going to focus on just the main word. So the center of the earth, this is number three. This is the core. We're starting at through number three. We're going from the very middle and then working our way out. Number two, so we're, come, we're at the very center where it's very, very high pressure and very, very hot, and we're working our way through so we can get to the outer portion of the earth. What would be the middle of the earth? Not the center, but the next layer? The mantle. The mantle. And this is the layer of hot rock. And as we get to the out portion where we actually live, where we have oceans and lakes and right. mountains, this is your crust. Now again, we are going to go back to that center, which is called core. the core. Right now, take your lid off the top of your materials that are in front of you, and we're going to create a tasty core, a tasty earth. Now, in doing that, the first thing you need to do, no, we did something a little bit different. Uh, everyone needs to grab a little cup, the little cups that are there. Everyone needs one, and everyone needs a spoon. Let's move quickly. There may be more cups than needed, and that's fine. And everyone needs a spoon. I'm going to come around and give you a cookie. Thank you. 
Do not eat the cookie. Do not do anything with it because we need to set it up for our earth. We are going to use this material to identify what needs to be what based on the characteristics uh, of the earth. When you get your cookie, everyone listen and pay attention because I want everyone to do this right because you're not getting another one. I need you to gently separate your cookie so that one end has no cream and the other end has all of the cream, or at least most of the cream. The cream <laughs> No, you do not eat anything to bring I'm talking about the cream. No, you don't eat anything right now. Again, gently separate your cookie so that it's one it's end cookie. has most of the cream and the other side does not. My crust is going to break. My crust is going to break. Just pull it apart. All right. The next thing that you need to do, lay your, your cookie uh, part that does not have any cream, just lay that on your table or on your napkin. Take your spoon and gently scrape the cream off of the side that has it and lay the cream on your napkin. Now the cream doesn't have to stay totally intact, but try to keep it as much intact as possible. If it splits up, just kind of use your fingers and kind of mash it back together once you get it off. But let's not take a whole five minutes to do this. You can use the other end of your spoon if need be. While you're doing that, the other materials that you have, there is a container of frosting. Go ahead and take the top off of the frosting, one person. Okay, make sure you take that cream and kind of smash it back together so you have one piece of cream. So if your cream broke apart, use your fingers and just kind of smash it together to have one piece of cream. It's very malleable. You can smash it together. Yeah. All right. There is also a container of pudding. Go ahead and take the top off of the pudding. That's the frosting. Keelan has the pudding. No, you can leave that on there because you all can work from the one container. Now, pay attention. We're going to talk about some physical characteristics of the things that you have in front of you. Raise your hand and tell me what are the solids. The cookie. Anything else? The cream. The cream is definitely a solid. Anything else? The pudding. The pudding is a solid. It's called a colloidal solid. It's that jelly mixture where you cut, don't know if it's a solid or don't know if it's a liquid. It's kind of in between. Anything else that's a solid? Besides the spoon. Pudding. What about the frosting? You said pudding. The fro you do. The frosting is also that colloidal solid where it's kind of like a liquid, kind of like a solid, but that's a solid. Now, but let's look at the consistencies of it. As far as a solid, which part is the hardest solid? The cookie. The cookie. The brown part of the cookie. Which part is the next type of solid? The cream. The cream. Which is the next? The pudding. The frosting. And then the pudding. I want you to keep that in your mind because as we go through the characteristics of the different layers, I'm going to be asking you, what piece of material that you have is representing that layer. Do you understand? Yeah. All right, your cups, your small cups that you have in front of you, this is where you're going to be building your layers of the earth. It's like we're taking out a chunk of the earth and we're trying to rebuild it going from the center, all right? So as we're doing this, we'll also be filling in our notes. Going to the very, very, very center, so we're looking at number three on our notes, which we titled the core. Going to the very center, this is called the inner core. And the inner core of the earth has a temperature and pressure that is so great that the metals are squeezed together and they're not able to move because the pressure is so tight. It's like taking something and just pushing it so hard. Now, the portion of your note that says the inner core is a dense ball of solid material. So what piece of your food 
is going to be the core. The inner core. The, uh, the, the green. No, it's the no, dense, right the, the, the hardest solid. The, oh, the cookie. The cookie. The, cookie. the cookie. Go ahead and put your cookie in your cup. Just sit it in there. Ah. <laughs> just, one, just one piece of your brown portion of the cookie. That's it. Remember, that's the dense. That's the hardest piece. That's the inner part. Moving back through, now everyone did fill out that portion because we're going from the very bottom. Being a dense ball of solid material is the what? Inner core. The inner core. Moving still, coming from the very, very center of the earth. So we're coming from here and we're starting to move out. We now have what's called the outer core. And I spelled outer incorrectly. It should have two T's. This is the core of the earth that is like a ball of very hot material. This layer is molten material that surrounds the inner core and acts like a liquid. It kind of acts like a liquid. Take a, take a look at your materials and you tell me which one do you think is going to be the outer core. It is the pudding. Everyone uh, take a spoon, just one spoonful and then pass it around so everyone else can get a spoonful. And do, we're not using it all because we should. It should still be enough left for the next class. Mm. So just take a spoonful. <laughs> yep. And then this is. We have our outer core. I mean, our inner core already in there. We need to put our outer core. So go ahead and just plop that right into your cup. Right. Because you've been there before, right? Is it like a base? Yes. Oh, yes. Just drop it right in there. All right. So the outer layer is the layer again of molten um, metal, metal, and it surrounds the inner core and it acts like a liquid. That's why we put our pudding on top of our inner core. Did everyone fill out their notes? Yeah. Okay. The outer core is made up of iron and is very dense. No, I didn't spell outer correct. That's spelled correctly on here. It's only one T for what I was thinking. All right, we're moving on. Next layer, because we're, we're, we were within the core, what's our next layer? The mantle. The mantle. So looking at the mantle, which is the, a layer of hot rock, we have to now move through the mantle. Now there's nothing that we're writing here and there's nothing that we're doing yet. This is just review of what the mantle is. It is the layer below the crust. It is the layer between the core and the crust. And it's the largest layer of the earth. The mantle is divided into two regions, the upper and the lower section. So let's look at the two regions. The first region is the upper mantle. I'm going to give you the characteristics here so that you know where to write. And then you're going to, we're going to look at and see which would be which. So your upper mantle is actually called the lithosphere. What does the word sphere mean? Round. Round. And lithos actually comes from a Greek word, which means stone. This is your harder layer. between the two, between the upper mantle and the lower mantle, this is your hardest layer. The lower mantle is the asthenosphere. So lithosphere is the stone or the harder round portion of the earth, of the mantle. The asthenosphere is the softer layer. And in Greek, asthenos means weak. Now, don't think that this portion of the earth is weak. It just means that this is softer than the lithosphere. But that's why they use that word, because it's softer. Now, not looking at your other cookie piece, but looking at the next two materials that we have left, being your cream of the cookie and your frosting. Which one would be which? The cream. Which one would be which? You say the cream. Which one is that? Oh, the cream would be the cream. The cream is the asthenosphere. No, Jay. I think 
Essence. 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 No sphere. No sphere. Okay. The cinosphere would be what? The cream. The cream. And the lithosphere would be? The upper mantle. Okay, so the, the lithosphere is the lower mantle. And the upper mantle is the lithosphere. So let me say this to not confuse you. Because the next portion that we need to place down there is what? The green. No. Looking at your notes, what's the next layer called of the mantle? Because we're going from the inside to the outside. I'm frosting. The frosting. You're not listening. The lower Looking at your notes, calling it the layer that it is, oh, we have went from the inner core to the outer core. The then we need to go to the lower mantle. We're going to the lower mantle, yeah. which is the, the softer layer. Yes, we need to be going to the lower mantle, which is the asthenosphere. So between the cream and the frosting, which won't be the asthenosphere? The frosting. You told me that the frosting was uh, lighter than the cream. So it's the frosting. Everyone get a small scoop of frosting. It's okay, you can, you can dip your, your pudding in there, you have, it's not gonna mess it up. No, that's the cream, we should be getting the frosting. The chocolate frosting. And don't scoop all of it, just uh, about a half a spoonful. And from here, you can use your finger and scoop it out because you won't be using your spoon for anything else. Use the back of your nail, America. Okay, so we've placed uh, the lower mantle, which is the asthenosphere, which is the frosting, and now we need to place the upper mantle, which is the outer portion of the mantle, which is the lithosphere. What is that? The cream. The cream. Go ahead and drop your cream in there. The whole thing. The whole thing. All right. What's our next layer of the earth called? The crust. This is the outer layer. So we have the crust and it's earth's thinnest layer. Now on your note, you have this long area of space because you're going to be writing the characteristics. Based on this, the earth's crust is very thin compared to the other three layers. What's one characteristic I mentioned? It's very thin. Very thin. Oh. <laughs> it has rocks, mountains, soil, and water that cover large parts, not parties of the earth's surface, large parts. You should be writing that. An earth's crust is broken into many pieces called plates. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. Like the tectonic plates? Yes, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about um, tomorrow. All right, so your last piece that's left is called? The crust. The crust, but notice it said it's broken into many pieces. So what should you be doing to that cookie? You should be breaking it in many pieces and making your crust layer. Go ahead and do that. All right. Now, continuing with your notes, does everyone have this written? Yes. Okay. Remember it said it's broken up into many pieces. Those pieces are separated into two things. So the Earth's composition of the crust includes two portions. One portion is the dry land, which is where we live. 
This is called the continental crust. You need to be filling in your notes. It is made up of? It's called the continental crust, so it's made up of continents. This consists of less dense rock like granite. Now, I came around to your table and I gave you two pieces of rock. If you, one, uh, one person pick up the rocks and hold them both in your hands, which one is less dense? We got to put one in one hand and one in the other. <laughs> what does less dense mean? The one that's more heavy. It's not heavy, the one that's less heavy. So which one is less dense? Like black that one. Black one. Nope, it's not. Uh -oh. Just the other one. The multicolor one is granite. These are what countertops and some people's floors are made up of. That's granite. That is the less dense one and that's kind of like what our continents are made up of. The other portion is the ocean floor. This is called the oceanic crust. Obviously, this is the crust beneath the ocean. This one is This one is more dense like basalt Everyone have what they need for their notes? No. Yes. All right, so just reviewing really quickly your uh, layers of your rock before I allow you to eat your rock layers. Um, you have now made layers of the earth. The crust would be what portion? The cookie. The broken pieces of the cookie. The upper mantle would be what portion? The cream. The cookie cream. The lower mantle would be the? Frosting. Good. The outer core? The pudding. And the inner core? The, cookie. the flat cookie. So this is what you have here. All right. At the bottom of your notes, you have a earth. Let's go ahead and label this. This first arrow that I'm pointing here would be considered the what? The crust. Oh, it's not moving up here. Oh, then let me do it here. I thought that my arrow would show. Is it the crust? Oh, it's the core. That is the core. Mantle. Um, I didn't ask anything yet. But that's going to be your inner core. This is the inner core. This portion would be the, the darker yellow would be the what? Outer core. This would be your outer core. This whole entire thing is made up of two pieces, but the entire thing is called the? Mantle. The mantle. On here, we did not note it, but the mantle was made up of? The mantle is made up of, call them what they are called. The lithosphere. The lithosphere, which is what part of the mantle? The heart layer. Which is called what part of the mantle? The upper mantle. The upper mantle. The other portion is called the asthenosphere, which is called the lower mantle. Very good. And then the very, very outer layer, which makes up what type of crust? What type of crust? Why are you silent? You just wrote it on your notes. Oceanic crust and 
Continental crust, very good. If you flip over to the back, in a moment you're going to work on this by coloring the pieces that needs to be colored. Not yet though, um, but if you take a look here, this is your earth. And it just gives you a little bit of perspective. This outer line is your ozone layer that protects our earth. That protects our earth from what? UV rays. UV rays, very good, so that we don't what? Ooh, die. die from die. Heat. 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 Good. Yeah. Now, what happened is, in your cup, you just took a piece of the earth, which is what we have here. You are going to, I'll wait. You are going to label this, but in labeling it, I want you to label exactly what it's called based on the earth, whether it's the inner core, outer core, mantle, asthenosphere, uh, what, asthenosphere, lithosphere, or the crust. But next to whatever you label it, just to give you a little bit of reminder so that when you're studying, put what it is in your food that you're eating. Do you understand? Okay, I had a question. Wait, hold on. I didn't call you up yet. D does everybody understand what I'm saying with that? Yeah. Miracle. What's up with Dangle Pink Toys? I just said it. Is. You are going to be coloring this, but first of all, you have to label it. Okay. This is the piece of the earth. This is the center portion, and then going all the way out to the outer portion. So you're going to be labeling that. But again, when you're labeling it, make sure, for example, let's start right here. This portion is called the... Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you guys can't see my arrow. That's the inner core. Write it down now. Next to that, what are you going to write for that for to be your food? The whole cookie piece. What color are you going to color that? Dark yellow. Not yet. I want you to label it before you do it. Dark yellow just means... Color it darker with the yellow. Light yellow means just lightly color it with the yellow, but we're not coloring until after we label it. Any questions for that? All right, then really quickly before you do that, let's just do a quick review. What are uh, the layers of the earth? Where did I miss my word at? Where are the layers of the earth? Yep, you can go from the, tell me if you're going to go from outside to in or if you're going to go from inside to out. Inside out. You want me to do the inner and uh, yep. Alright, the, the inner the inner core, the outer core, core. Wait, that, that is the core. Inner core, oh, outer core is the core. The inner core, the outer core, the low no, the upper mantle, the lower mantle. The lower mantle. Uh -huh. Which is called the, the I don't know that no, it's the lithosphere. It's the lower The lower mantle? Asthenosphere. Asthenosphere. Then the upper mantle. Which is the lithosphere. Lithosphere. And then well, just call it the, the, crust. the crust, which is made up of continental, continental and the oceanic. Very good. Um, the Earth's crust is very, it's not hot. That's where we live at. Thin. Thin. Very good. The mantle is the largest layer of the Earth. True or false? False. That is true. It's the largest true. piece. All right. Um... Is the outer core a liquid or a so or something like a liquid or mostly solid? Liquid, solid. it's not like a solid. It's a solid. The outer solid. core? No, it's a liquid, liquid. Oh, no, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they Something like a liquid, that's yeah. your pudding portion. All right, this concludes the lesson. You can go ahead and eat your um, pieces of the earth and continue with your sheet.